to our fitness kickboxing live class. Uh, just a few things before we get started. Make sure you have your bag, your gloves, your water, your space clear. If you need any towels or mats to put on the floor, get those all ready. Uh, and we are going to start with our joint warm-up. During the joint warm-up, if there's anything that you need to pay extra attention to or stretch out before we start our workout, please feel free to do that. Let's start with our fingers. Moving our fingers in and out. I'm just going to go through all of our joints and do some movement uh, before we get our workout on. And then we're going to go into our wrists. Try and make these movements uh, as big as you can to the edge of the movement so we get all of the uh, stretching and circulation that we can in our joints. We'll stop and go the other direction. From our wrists, we're going to go to our elbows. So we're going to make circles with our elbows. Try and keep your shoulders still while you're doing these so that we're not doing the whole arm. But we're just circling those elbows. And then we're going to stop and go the other direction. From our elbows, we're going to go into our shoulders. So now we are going to take that full arm and go into the shoulders. Going one direction. Uh, the amount of rotation that you get is completely determined by what your capabilities are today. You can also do one arm at a time here. And you can bend your elbows as you do it. Whatever you feel works best for you. We're going to stop and go the other direction. So this is all about just getting your body prepared. Listen to your body, feel your body. Do what's going to be good for you. And then from here, we're going to have our hands go front and back. So we're just opening that back and that chest. After our shoulders, we're going to go down into our hips. So this is going to be a balance as well. So if you need something to hold on to for balance, you can get near a wall, get near a counter, back of the couch, chair, your bag, whatever you have. And we're going to take one leg straight and go front and back. So this is about moving through our hip. You'll also get a little bit of a hamstring stretch while you do this. In a couple seconds, we're going to bend that leg so that we can get a little bit more mobility in the hip. So we'll bend it up and back. So this is going to allow the leg to come up higher so it goes through more motion in that hip joint. From here, we're going to stop. Straighten our leg and do the other leg. With a straight leg, build in that hamstring. Your shoulders will go forward and back a little bit. Try and minimize it. And then we're going to go into our bent leg. Bending front and back. Next, we're going to go into our other leg, straight, and we're going to go with that sideways motion. This one you only need to bring up to hip height. It's not about getting a stretch, it's just about getting that other direction of movement in your hip. Then we're going to bend it as it comes across and bend it as it goes out. In and out with the bend. So you get some rotation in that hip as well as this uh, lateral and horizontal movement that we did earlier. And then we're going to stop. Other leg with a straight leg, going just up hip height, trying to keep your body upright so we're not slouching down into what we're doing, and then we're going to go into bending, and bending the leg, getting that rotation, feel it in the hip, concentrate on where we're actually trying to get that movement. Then we're going to stop our feet, and bring our feet together, bending our knees. You can put your hands on your knees, do a little massage on your knees. We're just going to do some bends to begin with to try and just do some mobility before we do the rest of our workout. From here, we're going to be circling our knees. If you keep your feet flat on the floor, you'll start to get a little bit of rotation also in your ankles. 
which will be the next joint we're going to be focusing on. And then we'll stop and go the other direction. From here, we'll stand up. And then we're going to put the toe, so you lift your heel, put the toe on the floor, and we're going to make circles with your heel, which is going to get some rotation in that ankle, a little bit of rotation in that knee, and then some more rotation in that hip, so it's going to go all the way up through that leg. And then we're going to stop and go the other direction. I don't know if you can tell this, but one direction is a little bit more smooth on me. Maybe the same for you, and that's okay. Let's switch up on the toe of the other foot, and making circles with that heel, feeling it go all the way from that ankle to the knee, to the hip, so you're getting those little rotations instead of the big ones that we were doing earlier. And then we're going to stop and go the other direction. So for whatever reason on me, both directions on this leg seem similar. Go figure. All right. All done with our joint warm-up. So if you have your gloves, you may get your gloves on, get your drink of water. We're going to go into this workout. Today we're going to be focusing on some close range techniques. So we're going to see what kind of power we can get out of those close range techniques. But first, we're going to start with 10 catches going straight out and then 10 hooks. So we'll have two different ranges going on this one. Uh, when you hit the bell, then we're going to do 10 hooks and then we're going to do 10 uppercuts. After that, we'll do some knees with some punches. Here we go. Wait for that bell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On to hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hooks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hooks. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and straight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, and hooks. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I show you on the back, you're going to be doing those two different ranges, so you'll see the difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if I stay here, I'm not going to be able to do that hook, so I have to step in. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, and back out. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going on to the hooks, so you can stay in this range the whole time. Ten hooks, ten uppercuts. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On to uppercuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hooks. Two, four, five, six. Five, six, seven. 
Here, back 
are done with those exercises, on to some stretching. Let's bring our feet together. Come with a butterfly stretch. Bring your water near you if you need it. We're going to sit up tall with our back. Bring our feet in as much as we can, making certain our shoulders are down. Grabbing your ankles as you stretch your belly button forward, and you're going to push your knees down with your elbows as you keep everything straight and stretch forward. When you're stretching forward like this, you don't want your chin to come up because then it's going to put a crook in the back of your neck. So your eyes are going to stay level just like if you were here. And you're going to keep everything and then your eyes should be looking down in front of you because your back is nice and straight along with your neck. And we'll come up. We're going to put one leg out straight and then this other leg. We're going to take this arm that is on our straight leg and grab the knee across your body. Take the arm that's on the belt leg side, put it up straight, and we're going to stretch down over our foot. So from this position, I want you to reach this hand as far as you can down the leg, and I want you to reach this across your body as much as you can. Then you're going to take your face and your eyes and look up at the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch through the side of your body here. And then we'll come up and we'll switch legs. And we'll take this side with our straight leg. That hand's going to grab your knee. We'll take the butt leg side arm and it's going to come up and stretch down over that leg. Reach this hand out. Reach this hand out. And then you're going to take your head and eyes and look up towards the ceiling as you're stretching across this part of your body and side. And then from here, we'll sit up and we'll put both legs out. We're going to sit up really tall with our back. And we're going to take our hands and stretch them out the front, keeping your back as straight as you can. You also want to keep your toes pointed up towards the ceiling so that they're not turning in this way and you're not rotating in your hips, but you're keeping your hips open while you stretch forward. So feel where you can stretch as far as you can, keeping your back and neck straight. We're going to hold it there. And then about four more seconds. All we're going to do is round our back and reach our hands out as far as they can go. And then we're going to use our hands and walk ourselves back up. And we're going to take both hands, put them on one leg, one on each side. And we're going to stretch our hands down this leg. However far you can get your hands, you can either grab your foot and pull yourself in. You can grab your leg and pull yourself down. Use gravity, use your arms, get yourself down as far as you can, as close to your leg as you possibly can. And then from here, we'll roll up, and we'll put one hand on either side of the other leg, and we're going to stretch down as far as you can, using either your hands to pull you in from your foot, from your leg, However you get yourself pulled down, pull yourself farther down into your leg. And then we're going to roll up. And we're going to take both of our hands, reach one hand towards each foot, keeping your back super straight, just like before, neck straight, back straight, belly button reaching towards the floor in front of you, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Fingers are going toward your toes. Everything's straight and flat. And then let everything curve and drop. And then bring your hands in. And you'll walk yourself up. From here, we'll bring our legs together. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands coming up. Shoulders are down. Stretch yourself forward toward your toes. 
Same thing on this one. If you can reach your feet, pull yourself down with your feet. If you can't, put your hands underneath those calves. Pull yourself down. See how far bent over your leg you can get. And then roll yourself up. And congratulations, you made it through our workout. I hope you enjoyed our workout. Uh, if you did, you can subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified whenever we upload any more uh, workout videos for you. Other than that, I hope to see you next time.